everybody. Today we're going to start off with a reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 9 through 13. How we thank God for you. Because of you we have great joy in the presence of God. Night and day we pray earnestly for you, asking God to let us see you again to fill up anything that may still be missing in your faith. May God himself, our Father, and our Lord Jesus make it possible for us to come to you very soon. And may the Lord make your love grow and overflow to each other and to everyone else, just as our love overflows towards you. As a result, Christ will make your heart strong, blameless, and holy when you stand before God our Father on that day when our Lord Jesus comes with all those who belong to him. The artist of this picture you see is Lauren Wright Pittman. Paul's gratitude is wonderfully palpable in this letter. How can we thank God enough? I can almost see the smile on his face when I read these words. I find that when I return to gratitude, gratitude creates space in my heart, my mind, and my worldview for hope and casts away the anxiety that often rules my life. It almost feels as though gratitude carves a physical space for me to breathe more easily when the world feels so heavy on my chest. Gratitude creates a home for hope to flourish. The hope of this letter is a restorative, active, forward-leaning hope. Paul writes with electric gratitude to the Thess Thessalonians, hopeful that they will increase and abound in love for one another and for all. When I have enough space in my mind and heart, I hope for that too. The world is so daunting and overwhelming at times that it causes me to lose faith in humanity altogether. But when I remember this amazing life and this astounding creation that God has gifted us, I have space for the radical hope, the hope that we will abound in love for all. In this Advent season, let us return to gratitude and allow it to fill the nooks and crannies of our full selves and create space for a radical, restorative, active, forward-leaning hope. As you draw this, think of all the hope and all the love and how you can be abounded in love for this season.